Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace, and I got a late night Smite Arena video here for you. Felt like doing something not really that much of a competitive feel to it, or doing something with a competitive feel to it, but still want to have some fun while doing so. So I'm not going to do a conquest, I'm going to do an arena while it's uh, getting early in the morning. Now, let's see what we have here. We have a Poseidon, a Zeus, a Kronos, and a Fenrir. Looks like a possible decent team, but once more, we miss a certain tank, a certain uh, bruiser of some sorts. Now, this would have been a beautiful moment for me to also pick up Ares, Poseidon, Zeus. The ultimate combinations there are quite impressive. However, yeah, I already played Ares, so... Uh, and I don't feel like playing Ares, to be honest, as well. As you can see, Ace, Air, Hades, he, they're, saying me, uh, they're telling me to basically go uh, Ares, Hades, or Odin. And, uh, yeah, let's, I actually played Odin last. You know what? Let's do Ares. Yeah, let's go Ares. Let's, why not? Let's just, why not? It, it is Arena, after all. Go big or go home. Why not? Make my team happy, pretending to know what I'm doing. The usual. God selection should be good to go. There you go. Looking at the enemy team. Of course, the new uh, Mercury. He's quick. He's fast. He's furious. I got shackles though, so that's going to be unfortunate. They have a decent uh, decent team. I'm not going to lie. They have some serious threats. They have a Zeus, of course. As we do we. But his Zeus is a little bit more dangerous by the looks of it. So I'm going to be scared for that. They also have an Anubis, which has some serious potential burst damage, including a stun. I've never really properly fought a Mercury yet, so I know he, most people say he is weak, but he's quick, and mobility should, should be something you never really underestimate, ever, let's be honest here. Alright, just gonna start off with a very basic build, and we'll go from there. There we go. Boot is always nice. Let's see. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Hmm, okay. They do have magic. Uh, he's physical, of course. Magic, magic. They have three magic, two physical. So we might want to invest in some more magical protection. More so than anything else. However, they do have a Neath and a Mercury. Now, like I said, Mercury doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm not entirely worried about him unless I he gets scared, of course. Everybody with insane items does insane damage. Neve, however, has, does have that snipe. You know, can uh, do some serious damage. Don't want to get caught by that either. So we'll see how it turns out. My main focus, of course, staying alive and using my good ultimate. Ooh, she is focusing me. Wonderful, wonderful. That's okay, that's okay. I'm trying to uh, stick on the sidelines. Oh, evasive maneuvers. I am tagged by Zeus. There's the snare. That's exact, this is exactly what I was afraid of. And as you can see, they're pretty much burning me down. They're all on top of me. And my team doesn't do much of anything to retaliate. Which is completely my bad. I got caught off. I was a little bit too hyphy. I was already pretending that I had level 6. Or my ultimate, I mean. Which is level 5, of course. I keep forgetting that uh, with particular other MOBA that we are familiar with. But that's okay though, I got caught off guard, uh, at least I, caught, I was out of position, I didn't get caught off guard. I was out of position, I am still a very squishy tank. Completely my bad, it's only one kill, it's preferably, you know, the person who dies is the tank instead of a carry of some sort. So we're just fine, it is just one kill, arena, does, that doesn't mean anything, one kill in particular. However, I do have, of course, got my wonderful ultimate now up. So, if we get an opportunity, I will take it. And it will be wonderful. There you go. There's a first kill on our team as well. On one of a very important character, especially in Arena. Let's see what we can do here, shall we? Getting my ultimate out there. Bringing him back. Using my flame to do a little bit more damage. Nice. There you go. All ultimates go out. Not really the most effective of combos, as we only had one person. The other one got out of harm's way in time because because uh, of her mobility of course that jump is too damn good to get out of the uh, oh, of course make sure that you don't get thrown back by uh, Sobek I sometimes keep forgetting that 
Keeping the burns going. There you go. Pick up a kill right there. Doing some crowd control reduction, as you know. Very good stuff. And we should be good to go right there. Very nice. Should we go back? And see what we can actually... Uh, I'm actually walking back. I probably should just consider not doing that. Alright, a lot of people have suggested to me that Plated Griefs not necessarily worth it compared to the uh, the Reinforced Griefs. So let's just take that crowd control. It will protect me from Anubis and from uh, the snares and such. I will take... I don't have that 5% reduced damage, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Anubis caught out of position right here. Slowing him down. Have one more. Do some crowd control reduction. Bit of a flame just to scare a few people. I might get grabbed. Nope. Poseidon gets grabbed. Poseidon is, uh, is of course known for his or her speed. His speed. It's a male god. And I was taken into consideration that it will also be a female play set character. You want to do this, sir? Apparently you do, and you've done it. There you go. Couldn't really stop him. However, I do die, which is not a good thing, as you can see. But we are still behind, uh, still in front of kills, and we still have the gold lead. So we should be alright considering, and we also have the point lead, but that doesn't mean anything because it's seven, six points difference, which is completely worthless in terms of the long goal, which is uh, to actually win, especially at this stage of the game, of course. Um, so maybe getting that magical protection finally. Let's see. Do like myself uh, a void stone. We do have Zeus, of course, and Poseidon, so I think a Void Stone is going to be appreciated. They don't have Void Stone just yet, so I'm going to start building it. I'm also going to grab myself an Aegis, just for shits and giggles. And I get some potions for, of course, that lovely sustain. There you go. Not sure what he wants. Fenrir Zeus is ready. They do want me to go in there. That's okay. I'm just going to see if I can do a nice pull of some sort. We are currently completely in their well their territory which is not a nice thing i would say pull back Kronos, for the love of god pull back yes i can say for the love of god because this is a game about gods so back oh what the hell is that that's a new one all right can't get to him that's so back though pretty damn tanky very dangerous as well yeah, my team is completely split up, so I don't want to use my ultimate. I'm not going to waste it. We have Fenrir right there. Mercury doing some serious work right here. I'm just going to keep him at bay. He's a champion based around mobility. Or not a champion, a god based around mobility. Just going to pull them right in here. Just for funsies. Because I do know that I can kill him right there. He was too low in health to do much of anything else. And there you go. Do waste my ultimate right there. As I said, I previously didn't want to waste it. Now I felt like I wasted my ultimate. So I'm just going to be an annoyance of some sorts. Keeping Neath at bay. As long as she uh, forces her jump. Doesn't seem to be forced. I'm going to pop a potion just to stay alive a little bit. As the burst damage does add up. This is the cue to get out for me. As uh, we have three against two. Two weakened. Three are... Uh, quite high there, Poseidon getting picked off right there, just gonna go back to base and buy myself a new void stone, or an upgrade to my void stone, almost there for the uh, the aura that I'm after which will also help out my passive of course, am I gonna wait? I'm just gonna wait a little bit, look at that money ticking as you can see, that's a magical you gain magical penetration, which would be nice if you are more focused on doing damage as I am more focused right now on uh, protecting and debuffing for my team they go do prefer that aura of course as it also will increase my uh, blessed presence yeah there you go mercury you are not getting whoa he is getting away i thought i had him right there oh mercury are you gonna do it zeus don't get too greedy man we have sobek right there as well oh he misses his charge wonderful i have my ultimate up as well Get out of here just in time. Gonna pop a potion just for that sustain. Just a tad little bit. Oh, this could have been a wonderful moment for me. If I indeed had the ability to do such a thing. Oh, there's my ultimate. Can we turn it into something? I don't think it can. Oh, maybe we can turn down Mercury off. No. Nope. Yes, we can take down Mercury. Fender coming in strong. Oh, no, guys. We're too, too far into the enemy territory. Can I do anything? Can I slow them down? Can I do something like that? 
Looks like I can though. But Sobek getting here to kill on Zeus most likely. Nope, actually not. Yeah, they're just tearing us apart because we are too greedy as a team. I initially was too greedy, but now they're too greedy as well. We should not fight at their base. There you go. Do not fight at their... Whoa, that's a horrible spelling mistake. Spawn, please. There you go. Because it doesn't matter, because they almost instantly respawn. And if you keep on doing that, it's not going to be a good time for anyone involved. So, I am going to increase... I do want to take Mystical Mark out. Just to get one physical item. To, uh... Counter Neath and Mercury just a little bit. And Mercury does have to get close. So that kind of make, puts him at harm's way as well. And of course it's a nice health. Nice physical protection. Of course another aura. Which will increase my own damage output as well. Alright. This is me getting out. Poseidon don't do it man. Alright. This is going to be interesting. To say the least. Going to pop a pot right here. Okay. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yes, I can. Oh! So much damage though! Can we turn into anything? We do get a we do. Oh, uh, this is dangerous though. I am scared, but I am gonna try to make sure that Sobek can't charge with my shackles. He is trying to go for me as he knows that I'm taking him out, but Zeus gets murdered right there. Not a good time. Alright. Well, there's Zeus got me, so that's okay. And this is us backing off. Oh, that was close. That I wasn't totally... Like, once again, we are fighting at their spawn, which is something we should not do under any circumstances. Alright, picking up that level 2 right there. Maybe some more pots, just for that sustain. It has been helping me. Ultimate is ready for Poseidon. So, might want to do some shackle action. But as you can see, it doesn't matter about the kills, it doesn't matter. Look at how close the point difference is for Arena. It's all about those points. It doesn't matter if one team wins, you know, kills a hundred times. Well, it does matter because kills do kind of, you know, deduct points. But if you constantly keep killing but you lose at points, you're still going to lose the objective, of course. Oh, I missed that? Wow, that's embarrassing. Sobek, really strong. Last time I fought him, I did not expect him to be that strong of a... Uh, Oh my god, if you will. Do have three charges on me, which is going to end up being a stun for me. Not gonna happen again, Sobek. It's not gonna happen. Doing some slowing on him. There's his ultimate as well. Not a good time. I was contemplating to use my own ultimate right there to pull him into the base, but kind of decided against that. Just gonna regen real quickly at spawn and go back in as our team is in a bit of a pickle. Poseidon is getting caught but he uses his ultimate beautifully against mercury right there that was very nice and now Sova completely out of position on his own dying as they were too greedy and this is why in arena unless you have an overwhelming advantage you do not fight on their term because you are going to get overrun like that and you can't sustain we have you know if you are fighting at their turn or their turf they have the respawn as regen if they want it it's not going to be all that well. Alright, Anubis, you're going to slowly bite the dust right here. Just going to casually take a bit of a uh, combination there of ultimates. Look at that! Complete devastation! This is what I like to see. This is a good combination of ultimates right there on their turf even. And that was wonderful. That was a glorious moment right there. That was beautiful. That was really, be truly something beautiful. Alright, Zeus completely out of position right here. I'm just gonna stand here, right here, and just wreck him with some fire. There you go. Poseidon. They say that electricity is better than water? Mm mm. Not in this case. Doing some, of course, crowd control reduction. Gonna pop some potions as we are fighting. That extra sustain could be the difference between life and death. And also allows me to be a little bit more aggressive, more so than usual. Alright, let's do a little bit more crowd control. Sobek is completely out of his own uh, mind right here. But it looks like Zeus completely too greedy, thinking he has the ability to sustain himself. But there's the ultimate of Fenrir, and this is my cue to get the hell out. Gonna let my team know that uh, I think it's a good time to get out. And as you can see, we're taking the lead right now. It's still a very easily turnaround point difference, even at this stage of the game, guys. Don't underestimate that.
And also, I think it's time for another act, actually. Why not go with some more tankiness, which will also present for some more... Uh, also result in some more tankiness for my team. I love the aura build. I know it's not the best aura build. Like, a lot of people, uh, at least that a lot of people advise against it. Because it's very easy to get into that uh, trap of, oh god, aura, passive, let's go, let's go, let's go. And it only increases your damage output, not necessarily your tankiness. Which is why I'm also initially focusing on items that do increase my protection and health and, uh, well, my team and such. But in that case, you could also go with regeneration, which is not necessarily a good item. Or, uh, health regen. Um, yeah, why not? Four for the price of one ultimate. There you go. There's the Zeus ultimate as well. There's the Kraken. Their entire team. Complete devastation. Version 2.0. That was a beautiful ultimate. Now we're getting into a state of lead where it may be a little bit too difficult for them to turn it around. But this is also a very crucial moment. As you can see, we're still fighting on the turf. turf. We have used all ultimates. Wow, Fender actually pulling out the enemy out of their base. Yeah, this game is most likely over. However, we could also become too greedy. So I have to be very careful of that. They do have those very nifty knockbacks. With Sobek and Mercury. So, careful. They could still make some plays. But I do not think it's going to be enough to really turn the tides though. But we'll see. We have Poseidon. So, we have, we should have had to control over the tides. Yes, that's a water joke. Deal with it. As you can see, I may be a tank. But I am completely out of position right here. But once again, if they focus on me, that's okay though. Because I'd rather die than have one of my carries die more often than not. Um, no, we'll wait. We'll sit tight. We'll sit tight. Boom. There we go. Another nice aura. We have three stacks, as you can see. Three auras, three stacks. We're pretty tanky right now. Uh, I think I'm going to go next for a health item. Like, one of the health items that I prefer is Gem of Isolation, just because it stacks with the Flamethrower, which slows them, which is quite uh, kind of fun. It's not the best item, per se, but uh, it, it is quite enjoyable. Well, that's a horrible ultimate there by Zeus, I think, because we could have wrecked his face anyway in using it on Mercury. Once he has been pen uh, penalized that much already, not necessarily a great thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna shackle you, sure. I actually kill him with the shackle. Well, you know, piercing, getting an entire chain of steel pierced through your body would seem painful. And Zeus uh, figured that one out. Our Kronos seems to be dead as well now, though. So let's see. I'm gonna see what we can do for here. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible, 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 horrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep you guys at bay, if you don't mind. There we go. Where's Sobek? There he is. My team should become a little bit more tankier, but I am I am doubting it, though. I am having doubts. But it looks like we are... We have more than 100 lead, and look at that point difference. Like, how close they are to losing this game. Let's just finish it off. It's not even fun anymore at this stage. They know they have surrendered. They're probably just, like, going in. And so are we. Because we don't really care anymore. We really don't. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a kill right there. Can I still get him? Can I still get him? Oh, no. That would have been nice, though. Seven more points. The minions are walking right here. I'm just going to stand around here and be burning up as I do, as I do. Not too shabby, I would say, uh, on this uh, early morning. It's in Zach. Actually, it's 5 a.m. 10 minutes past uh, 5 in the morning. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this complete devastation arena match those ultimates going out you know once you have those aoe ultimates go well it's just too damn tasty it's just too damn tasty of course i made my own mistakes like for example the first death i gave them first blood because i was put out of position but i think i kind of you know turned out to be all right considering with uh i was gonna say 14 kills but that's fenra right there six skills three deaths 31 assists so I've got the least amount of deaths, so I possibly could have been a little bit more aggressive to preserve my teammates' life. Even though we were fighting on the turf, so who would have known, right? But 31 assists basically means that in most of the kills made, I was uh, an active part one way or another. Which is a good sign for Ares in Arena. So I'm quite happy that I did that. I'm quite excited. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.